Lots of people like chocolate, but where do the chocolates come from? They are made from cocoa beans. So let's explore our journey together today to plant this fruit and how it's turned into the delicious chocolate bars they usually are eaten as. Don't forget to click the subscribe button below to not miss our exciting videos. The cacao tree has roots in Central America and Mexico, which were explored by the indigenous Aztecs and Mayans. Today, cacao varieties have been cultivated extensively in different tropical regions. Currently, there are three main varieties of cacao, namely Forastero, Criollo, and Trinitario. Cocoa has been applied more to the food industry 2,000 years ago. According to 2018 statistics, the total production of cocoa beans in the world is about 5.3 million tons, standing somewhere in Ivory Coast with 37% of total production, followed by Ghana with 18%, and finally Indonesia with 11%. Farmers can breed cocoa in two different ways. Farmers will sow cocoa beans in bags of land that are appropriate and rich. Next, they would water it and place it in the nurseries to avoid direct sunlight. Farmers must ensure their nursery's temperatures are adequate for seed growth and the average humidity should be 85%. After the seedlings have grown, they will carry out planting and tending outside the farm. This way this is grown. It takes two to three years for the cocoa tree to produce fruit. Along with the cultivation from exam seeds, relatives will also combine with the technique of grafting branches because this technique can help cocoa trees produce fruit when only nine months old. The farmers first cut a young bud from a healthy, disease-free and high-yielding cacao tree. They then graft it into buds growing from the base of a sick, old, not very productive plant. The farmer then cuts the two ends of the buds to put them together. Then they are wrapped around with a nylon to retain moisture and also to avoid rot due to heavy rain or fungal diseases. As smoothly as possible, the grafts can come together after a month and grow stronger. A perfect cacao flower will have a maximum diameter of 3 centimeters. Pollination of flowers is done at night and by insects, but in order for the plant to produce more eggs, the farmer will help with the manual pollination. This method has been shown to produce more cocoa than does natural pollination. It's necessary to wait about 175 days from the moment the flowers are pollinated in order to be able to harvest. Since cacao flowers usually appear interleaved, the harvesting process will take place and be done for almost a year from the result. After the cocoa trees have grown big, they will conduct pruning and keep the trees in perfect size with a height of no more than 5 meters and a maximum diameter of 30 centimeters. The purpose of this will be to make it easier for farmers to harvest at the end of the season.
cocoa harvesting will usually be done by hand. The harvesting process will be done in groups and will be divided into two processes. The farmer will first pick up the ripe cocoa beans and collect the fallen fruit. They would pick berries from the top with a pole or carefully cut them off without damaging the tree in the process. The skin of the fruit is thick and coarse, so they open it with a knife or plastic, and they collect white seeds inside. A cacao bean can contain between 30 and 50 grains. After harvesting, the beans are transferred to a second process, which opens the pod and ferments the cocoa beans. Once the cocoa beans have been removed, they will be transferred to the fermentation area. Usually the fermentation will be handmade. The farmer will add the cocoa beans to the prepared barrels and will be left there for about four to six days once the fermentation is complete. Next, they'll have the cocoa beans dried in the sun for about a week. And the beans need to be completely dried for the next export. Before being packed into sacks and exported, they are checked for one more final time to ensure the residues of berries and moldy seeds are removed. After inspection is complete, the containers are packed and shipped to the chocolate factory. After being transported to the chocolate processing plant, these cocoa bags will be quality and classified based on the planting areas. Because the cocoa beans are grown in different areas, they will have different flavors. They need to be sure that these cocoa beans are cleaned before being processed. They then add the cocoa beans to the roasting machines to completely remove the remaining water from the seeds. This will also remove the peel from the core of the nut. Then they will capture the core of the cocoa bean and the shell will be sucked out by a vacuum machine. After the seed collected is crushed and mixed with some additives, such as buttermilk, sugar, vanilla, they become liquid chocolate. After the cooling process is complete, the chocolate will be checked and packed, ready for the supermarket. So how do you feel about the process by which farmers grow and harvest and produce quality chocolate bars? If you got a chance, you can also try making yourself a chocolate bar at home. Thank you for watching all the videos. Like and subscribe to our channel to not miss other attractive videos. Thank you all for watching this video and welcome to the new viewers of N7 Discovery Channel. Please continue to accompany us to explore the fascinating world of agricultural technology. We're committed to providing quality and creative videos that help you better understand the fields of agriculture, livestock, and processing technology. Do not hesitate to share and subscribe to the channel. We appreciate all the support and look forward to seeing you again in the next video. Thank you and see you again.